everything is the Lord's, but he always wants the first fruits. He wants the first and best of everything you have. That's just the, that's the truth of the matter. He wants to know that everything, that you know that everything is his. And what he grants us, we are to use and we are to enjoy, but the first fruits always go to him. We see that throughout all of Scripture. Genesis 4 is the first place we see that with Cain and Abel. Two brothers that both offered a, a gift, a sacrifice to the Lord. One was accepted, one was rejected. As a kid, I had a hard time understanding that sometimes. I thought they both brought a gift. Is there favoritism going on here? What, what's going on? It's, well, no, you dig in a little bit deeper theologically. You see that Abel was a shepherd. He had sheep. Cain was a farmer. He worked the ground. They both offered a gift, but, but Abel gave the first fruits, the fat portion, the best portion. Cain kind of brought what was left, kind of brought you know, some extra. Both gave a gift to the Lord, but we see that God commands the first fruits, commands that he is first place. That's just what we see in Scripture. God commands first place. This is in Genesis 4. Again, Cain and Abel. Abel was a keeper of sheep, Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And so we see that, that, that Abel you know, understood who the Lord was and therefore he gave the best, the first fruits, the most valuable return to the Lord. What we understand about Cain, he gave something, but there's no indication that it was the first fruit or that it was the most valuable. It was kind of whatever he had left. And are we guilty of that? I mean, let's be honest. Let's be real for a moment this morning. We should never, ever offer to God what is left over after we've gotten what we want or need. If we're not careful, we develop that mindset, even as Christians, even as followers of Jesus. We say, Lord, I'll give you Sunday morning. Give you a little bit of time here and there. I'll pay attention when it's convenient. I'll prioritize your plan for my life when it feels right, when it feels good, when I'm in the mood. And just understand that we're all guilty of falling into that, but just also know that's not what brings victory. God has said, I've given you victory, but do not turn to the left or to the right. And, and one of the things he commands us is that he wants the first fruits of your time, of everything he's given you, of all that we possess. It belongs in the treasury of the Lord because it's his. And he always wants to be first place. He will be first place. That's clear. Everything is for God's glory. Everything is for God's glory. He's going to do what he's going to do, and it's going to bring him glory. And so our part in that is to understand that and to follow by faith and obedience and offer to God what is first and best.